Bye bye, M1. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, we're going to take a look at how to transfer your assets from M1 Finance to Weibo. So, before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So, if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So, um, in the past, guys, I actually did a video on how to transfer your assets from Robinhood to Weibo. So, I'm going to hook that video up here so you can definitely go check it out. So, today, we're looking at how to transfer assets from M1 Finance to Weibo. I know you're probably just like, but why, Mr. V? M1 Finance is so great. Why are you leaving? Let me explain. The reason why I'm transferring my, my stocks from M1 Finance to Weibo, uh, number one, is because um, Weibo gives me an opportunity to earn interest with my stocks. So I did a video about the Weibo stock lending program. If you haven't already checked it out, I'm going to hook it up here. So let me explain a little bit about the program. So when you buy your stocks and you're holding them long term, if you enroll in the stock lending program, what Weibo does is they lend out the stocks and then collect interest from investors that borrow the stocks and then they share that interest with you. So not only are you getting your growth or you're getting your dividends getting paid, but you're also getting interest from your stocks that are being lent out. And the good thing is, it's not like the stocks are being lent out there, you have any risk of losing them. No, the stocks are still your stocks. You can sell them whenever you want. So if you choose to sell them right now, when the market is open, you can definitely go ahead and sell them and that's it you're out of the program so it's not like your stocks are at, at, at risk of anything so um here hey we talk about earning money so this is an opportunity for me to end money and add another level of money ending so if i have a, a stock that i bought low when it grows i'm getting growth from that stock right it goes from let's say ten dollars to twenty dollars if it's a dividend stock i'm getting paid dividends either monthly or quarterly right and then add another level of gains to that particular stock if we both uh, lend out that stock you get interest paid to you so if me and you have the same stock same amount of stocks you have your portfolio in m1 i have mine in Weibo you would get growth you get dividends i'll get growth i'll get dividends but i'll get interest from lending out my stocks and you will not get it so i want to take advantage of that as a matter of fact i'm enrolled in the program and i'm going to do a separate video showing you guys how much i made by just enrolling my stocks in the program i have about 50 different stocks in m1 finance so i'm anticipating that if i move all of that into Weibo, i'm going to make a really good amount of interest uh, monthly and the interest is actually paid monthly which is awesome so um, so let's jump on the computer and I'm going to show you uh, step by step how to transfer from M1 Finance to Weibo. Um, so you're going to need three things. Obviously, you're going to need your M1 Finance account. Um, you're going to need a Weibo account. If you don't have a Weibo account, uh, I'm going to put a link in the description. Definitely check it out. So if you sign up for Weibo, you get two free stocks, not one, two. So the first one value between $2 and, and, and $250. And the second one is between $12 and $1,400. So if you don't have a, a Weibo account, I'll put them in the description below. So definitely go check them out. So let's jump on the computer and do some transfers into um, Weibo. This is a very easy process, guys. So log into your Weibo web um, platform and then go under uh, transfer stocks. Once you go under transfer stocks, the first thing that you want to do is um, select um, the, your account type. So if you have multiple accounts, it's going to show up um, under where it says choose receiving account. That's you, that would be the Weibo account that you want the, the stocks to go into. Um, the next thing is that you choose your broker. So here, if I choose a broker, in this case, I want to choose M1 Finance. Um, it's just going to show up there. And then the delivery account type, it's individual. So when it means by individual, if you have a joint account, uh, that's going to be an issue. So you want, if it's you're coming from an individual account from uh, M1 Finance, you want to put it in an individual account in, in Weibo. So once you choose that, then the next thing it would be, uh, so the individual account type, the next thing would be your delivery account number. So this is where you have to go into M1 Finance. So we go into M1 Finance. If you go under um, your uh, uh, account settings, you go under accounts, 
and then you're going to see your account number so your account number is going to be right there copy the account number um, and then so copy the account number and bring it over to bring it back over to Weibo and then enter the account number in in Weibo once you enter the account number um, it's going to ask you if you want to do a partial or you want to do a full transfer so in my case um, I'm doing a full transfer I'm not doing a partial transfer and then you acknowledge what you that you, you, you you're okay with them going in so if your portfolio is um, is over two thousand um, dollars we both would um, pay your transfer fee uh, which is awesome but if your portfolio is less than two thousand dollars and then that uh, transfer fee is going to be on you so once you have that the next step you do is just click um, submit um, so submit transfer and then Weibo is going to ask you for confirmation and then when you confirm um, that you're transferring the account and then the next thing is uh, that process is going to start and, and then um, you're going to get notification through email that uh, Weibo has initiated the process of importing your or transferring your assets from um, M1 to Weibo, which is which is awesome. So um, then at that point, that's it. All you have to do is just wait. Um, it usually takes between three to seven business days. Uh, when I did my Robin Hood, it took about, I think, about three or four business days. Um, but uh, you should be very careful during this process please don't execute in an m1 finance don't um, place any trades in m1 finance because it's going to delay the process so um that's that's it guys that's just how simple it works Weibo is going to do their thing behind the scenes and next thing you know all your stocks are going to be over in in Weibo and you start earning some interest. Um, the reason why I'm transferring is not because I think M1 Finance is a bad platform. No, it's an excellent platform. It's just that I, I think where I am right now, my maturity as an investor, M1 Finance doesn't meet the needs. Um, I, I'm looking for uh, an opportunity where if I see the market moving, moving down, I can jump right in, sell some stocks, wait and it goes down, I can buy right back. M1 Finance doesn't give me that options. Um, I can trade extended hours. If I hear something happening with a company, they, they, something new is coming out, um, I can trade extended hours. I can buy that asset early in the morning before the market's even open, which um, M1 Finance doesn't provide that for me. Uh, and again, I get interest earned on my stocks that I hold in, M in, 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 in Weibo that uh, M1 Finance doesn't provide for me. So that's the reason, but if you're just a starter, if you're just looking um, where you can put your money and just let it ride, you don't worry about buying and selling and balancing your portfolio and all that good stuff, M1 Finance is definitely the spot for you. But for me, I'm mature enough for, for, to the point where M1 Finance doesn't meet my needs. So that's why I'm out of here. So question of the day, guys, what do you think about uh, M1 Finance? Do you think it's like an excellent platform? What do you think, Mr. V? Weibo is the bomb. Let me know in the comment section again, guys. Don't um, if you don't have Weibo, I, I said I have a link in the description below. That's I'm an affiliate with Weibo, so definitely uh, use that link. Get yourself two free stocks. Again, one uh, between two and two hundred and fifty dollars, and the second one between twelve and fourteen hundred dollars. So definitely claim it. So um, as always, guys like share subscribe youtube tells me that 90 percent of you guys watching haven't already subscribed to my channel so definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button and as always stay motivated